What's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you two techniques to sort of outplay your opponents. Uh, one of them has been out for a while, but has just now come to light um, by Mongrel. And some of you may have seen this, some of you may have not. But I'm uh, just going to sort of showcase this here. I figured some of you may not know already. So uh, It's basically going to be... Uh, your opponent's going to be in a box like this. We're in a situation again where you're trying to break in, but you can't. He keeps replacing, keeps wall replacing, and there's nothing you can do. Maybe he's got lower ping than you or something, or whatever the case may be. You just can't get this wall. What you're going to want to do is you're going to put this ramp here. Um, you can either just edit it like this and be underneath it, or you can just have it completely, you know, a full ramp like this. And... What you're going to do, I like to do it like this. It just makes it a little easier to see your opponent. What you're going to do is you're going to get this wall here to where it's one pickaxe away from breaking. And then you're going to put yourself in a position here to where if you jump, you're going to hit the ramp and then the wall. So a little closer maybe. So like this. And you hit both of them. See like that. And um, what happens is whenever you jump and hold W, you'll break through this and you'll negate the turbo building making it um, near impossible for your opponent to keep you out of their box um, obviously you're not going to be wanting to be facing this way you're going to be wanting to face this way so you keep your eye on your opponent but um, yeah again it just looks like this and you'll go right through it no matter if they're holding turbo build the scroll wheel building doesn't matter um, I'll show you a few in-game examples of that now The next technique I'm going to be showing you is um, one I've seen Vivid do first on one of his YouTube videos and then i seen Mr. Savage M do on one of his clips from Twitch. Uh, and basically all it is is you've got, you know, you're sitting here in a box or whatever it may be and your opponent's on top of you and you want to try to bait him into thinking that you're going to do something but then you're going to do something else. So basically this has to be your floor here. And you're going to bait him into thinking that you're going this way. And then you're going to edit this ramp and then it'll break. Try not to put this extra additional ramp here like I did. Um, so I'll just show you in fast motion what it would look like. He's going to be on top of you. You place your floor. You place your ramp. You edit that like that. And then you got a free shot on him. And you can do whatever you want. You can take high ground. You know, you can just build up. If you're in a scrim situation, you can't really fight that guy. Or... Again, you can just do the trick and take your shot on him. I can show you a few in-game examples of that now. Kid, I'm goaded on the damn sticks. I'm goaded, kid. Leader! Oh my god, get fucking outplayed. Holy shit, did you see that, dude? Did you see that? Yes, we seen it, Savage. It was amazing. I'm gonna start using it in games, that's for sure. Uh, anyways, thanks guys. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna use any of these. Um, if it was new to you, definitely be sure to hit a like. If you're new here, press subscribe. You get more videos like these every day. Make sure to press the bell to get reminders when I post videos. I've been posting pretty frequently lately. And we'll see you next time.